Hello everyone and welcome back to a new property tour. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are in Tuscany, in the area of Volterra, which is one of the locations that offers some of the most beautiful sceneries and landscapes, like you see behind me. These are the original Tuscan rolling hills. We are about to see a home that is immersed in its own oasis of peace and tranquility immersed in 98 hectares of land, which equals to about 243 acres. Let's begin the tour. Come with me. The owner of the home is an artist, and when he found this place, he was looking exactly for this, somewhere immersed in nature, where he could stay in tranquility, peace, and privacy. In terms of location, we are 20 minutes away to Volterra, which is the closest town that we can see in a distance. Then we have Casole d'Elsa and San Gimignano, which are about 40 minutes drive. And then there is the airports of Pisa, one hour and 15 minutes, and Florence, one hour and a half from the property. The property is immersed in its plot of land of 98 hectares, which is 243 acres. Within this land, we find some beautiful olive trees, which are about 600, and the central part of the land that is closer to the home is completely fenced, and it is 5 hectares. The property is rich of water. There is one well in the property and three ponds that are private and can be used for the outside irrigation. It has been also connected to the main water for the drinking water of the home. Just a few meters from the home, we have one of the most spectacular spots of the property, the swimming pool area. It is completely paved with this beautiful Spanish stone that we also find on the floors of the home inside and the garden all around. It is set on this spectacular rolling hills view, 20 by 5 meters in size with a soil filtration system. The sunsets are right in front I will show you with the compass right here. The property is facing west and it can enjoy some beautiful evening sunsets. The home originally dates back to the end of the 1700s and beginning 1800s. It is beautiful as it has some sections of it that are with exposed stone and the rest has been finished in this beautiful natural color. It is 875 meters in total and has been finished to be completely restored, including the roofs, the systems and everything, in the year 2018. We are going to go inside now and see it on the inside, but first let me mention that the property also includes another building which is about 100 meters from the house, that is around 300 square meters, and it was an agricultural building. Right now, it can be used as a garage, as a large storage, or for agriculture. Welcome inside the home. As soon as you walk in, you find how the spaces are broad and very spacious. They have been all made with this restoration that kept it minimal, kept it simple and really calming atmosphere as you walk inside. This is the entrance. You find the staircase that go above and the home is divided into two sections. Let's begin on this area over here. This is a beautiful reception space with this incredible 
boiserie on this side that gives it even more character. It is from the city of Versailles and it is from the 1700s. There is a working fireplace as you can see, but the heating is also on the floor throughout the whole house. The stone that has been used all over the floors is the same that we find outside on the paving and it is this beautiful sun color Spanish stone. The home keeps going and we find quite an unusual feature because this is a working pizza oven with wood and it is internal. Generally it is external, however this is a great idea so you can cook pizza inside your house also during the winter time or in the summertime thanks to these huge windows and doors there are so many and they help create this beautiful indoor outdoor living feeling in the property. Next we enter into the kitchen section. First we have this room which is mostly used for storage, like a pantry area, so it is very useful to the kitchen. And next, we have this spacious dining space. We find some of these beautiful arches on the ceiling that we also have on the opposite room that I will show you later. A very spacious table with 10 seats all around. And then through this arch, we get to the kitchen, which is beautifully finished all over with stainless steel. So very easy to clean, very durable over time and nice to maintain. It is fully equipped. We have the oven, we have lots of storage and an induction stove with steel extractor. On the other side, we have an additional working area with a spacious sink. On this side we have an outdoor entrance which is also nice to enjoy the outside terrace which also has a beautiful view and nice to have a spacious table outside and have dinner with friends and the family. Next to the kitchen we have an extension room and you can see on the right the pantry that I shown you at the beginning. So it is like a circle going around. This other room is also very comfortable. This can be a top for working. You can make some pasta, you can make pizza or you can use it as a smaller lunch table for a quick snack. This is all additional storage and additional larger fridges. Next, the last two spaces are the laundry area over here, nice and spacious with a working top and the washing machine and also an independent outdoor access. On this side we have some storage and the last room is mostly used for the systems of the house. We're back at the entrance where we were earlier and now I'm gonna show you all of the rest of the property on this side. As we keep going, we find the lift that brings to the upper floor together with the staircase. This is a service bathroom that serves all of this floor. While behind this door, we find a very spacious room, which is a multi-purpose room. At the moment, the owner uses it as an art studio, so it can be beautiful to enjoy making some clay sculptures or paint some artworks, or it can also be used as a gym, a fitness area, or many other uses. It also has an external access to a beautiful outdoors terrace that overlooks the backside. The space keeps going, we find same beautiful art ceilings as we found on the other side on the dining area. As you can see there is a sitting reception space, these beautiful huge and symmetrical windows. Over here it's been set up as an office area and in the end we find the living space. On this wall there is this huge tapestry that embellishes even further this space but in front of it 
there is a screen that can be rolled down with a projector over here. So this becomes like a cinema room. From the living space, we access to the two bedrooms on the ground floor. They are very comfortable as they are in the ground floor and they, you don't need to go through the stairs or upstairs to access. This is the first one. And at the moment, the primary bedroom, it is facing the countryside, also with an external access. Through this door, we find a large walk-in closet, while through the other one, we find a just as large, beautiful, ensuite bathroom with shower. Over here, we find the second bedroom, which is similar to the first one we have seen, but with a smooth ceiling without beams. And it also overlooks a nice terrace with the countryside. On this part, we find the ensuite bathroom with a tub and shower. We are now on the first floor of the house. As you can see, there are these beautiful Corten metal staircase or the elevator. As you get up here, you find these high ceilings, exposed beams and the rest of the bedrooms. Let's see the first one over here. Nice and spacious, nice and cozy with terracotta floors that make this space even warmer and exposed beams. We have over here the ensuite bathroom, which is just as wide as the bedroom with a huge shower in the end. Next, we have the rest of the bedrooms on the other side. At the moment, it is set up like this with one bedroom here, a bathroom, and then there is another bedroom with bathroom. So to get to the other bedroom, you pass through this one. This is because the owner has a large family, lots of nephews and kids. However, this can also be set up with a nice and spacious walk-in closet over here, the bathroom and the bedroom in the end. About half of the top floor of the home has been left unfinished because the home is nearly 900 square meters and the owner didn't need this additional space. However, this can be finished and the restoration can be completed. It just needs to be installed the floors, the finishes on the wall, the lights and the systems. And it can be an additional few hundred square meters that are great to have more bedrooms or more living spaces. And here we are ending today's property tour from the terrace of the last bedroom. I hope you enjoyed this home. I think it is ideal for somebody that lives in the city center and wants to completely unplug in his holiday home, immersed in the green, immersed in nature with total silence and privacy. Please let me know if you would like to visit this property. If you have additional questions, we would be glad to answer and help you. And subscribe to the Romolini channel for the best homes of Italy every week. Until next time, ciao.